I had no idea what to expect. We just kept driving out into the country. Deeper and deeper, more woods. And I thought, oh my god, we're passing fucking Stonehenge. Where are we going? Further and further? Not here. And all you fucking nutcases came out and turned this into one of the best fucking shows on my own. When you haven't played a gig for about 10 months, it's, it's pretty hard and, you know, how, how do I do this? How do I prepare for playing gigs? Like, how, how does it, how does the show go? Like, you really, you really do forget all about it, but, um, you know, as soon as you start playing the first, the first song, hit the first chord, it all comes back to you and that energy comes back. Yeah, having waited so long to play, I think, uh, some of the urgency had come back to the shows. I don't know, it's good to not burn yourself out on that feeling, you know, to come out and be really, to be really hungry and, and ready to do it. And I think uh, coming back and making this record and, and playing shows again, you know, it's all, like it's full blast ahead. It's exciting to play that Brighton show, you know, it had been, the, yeah, like you say, 10 months, I think, since the last gig at Reading and Leeds, and we'd been in the studio since then, writing some new stuff and recording, so it's good good to play some new stuff and, and just tread the boards again, you know, and play live. It was, uh, it was good fun. I felt really rusty, to be fair. Uh, 10 months is a long time without playing, uh, especially when you're a drummer. And, yeah, I was rusty, but it was good to get back up there, definitely. Um, yeah, like, as I said, 10 months is just too long to not be playing, especially with a band like Gallows, who are used to being on tour quite a lot and playing real kind of, you know, chaotic shows and then being just suddenly thrust back into it was a bit of a bit of a shock to the system. I think uh, playing club shows is great because, um, you know, people get up on stage, sing along, stage dive, and uh, you can't really recreate that feeling ever, you know. it's When a show's really kicking off and it's on that, that edge of getting too out of control, there's nothing really like that. Don't go punching. Disco. The revenge of disco right here. It was weird. Hyde Park was uh, was almost like a club show. Like we did two gigs there, and uh, the first one was was the acoustic stage, which was pretty random. The sound was terrible, but. Again, it was like it was really packed, and the kids were going nuts. So it felt like a club show, and and same with the the second tent we did at Hyde Park. It was it was small, it was cosy, it was rammed, and uh, it was awesome. Like, I had a really good time. I don't want you to think. I don't want you to think we've been fucking around, wasting time. But playing the festival, especially Hyde Park, uh, with so many iconic bands that we have grown up listening to and I mean a show that's Black Sabbath and Motorhead it really doesn't get any better than that so coming off the Brighton show and it being so chaotic and, and crazy um, I think the High Park show went amazing I think it was just uh, it went perfect really for us the show was really messy and out of control and uh, everything a gallows show should be. Festival's good because you get a chance to play to people that wouldn't necessarily just go to a gallows gig. You know, I'm sure there were a ton of people at Black Sabbath who had no idea who we were, you know, whether they're older people and if they you know, walked past the tent and heard us and, and got into it then it's that's really cool. It's a different feeling, this whole massive collective of people that are on the same 
that are doing the same thing. So having a you know a huge group of people all like clapping their hands or singing along, um, there's something really powerful about that too. It's always been a grind to you know, with Gallows. When we go, we play hard, we put everything into it when, when we do play our songs and you know, we're not getting any younger and it can certainly take its toll years of jumping around like an idiot and uh, stage diving and all the rest of it. So yeah, we feel it a lot more in the morning than we used to, but not bad enough for us to want to just stay home. On my way down, after the gig, I spend like half an hour just like doing that. Stretching. Well, down. Yeah, yeah, it's a good idea. And it really helped actually. Do you remember in the old days when I used to fucking carry deep heater and that shit used to help? It used to, but I used to stink a deep heat everywhere we went. Oh like. yeah, but... Is, uh, the thing about heavy music is just this like ultimate release. And, and I think that release changes over time, you know? Um, to like the pressures in your life or what's going on. can't do anything else for the next 24 hours and uh, it's cool it's like a really I don't know playing the show is a really powerful experience and, and uh, I don't know I'm losing my train of thought <laughs>